The variant first discovered in India has hit our shores and is currently wreaking havoc, particularly in Gauteng. But that's not, of course, it. Uh, the province is also being swept under by a third wave. Let's get a better understanding of this variant. I'm now joined by Professor Tulia de Oliveira, who is a director at UKZN's Innovation and Sequencing Platform. Prof, always a pleasure to talk to you. Not so much right now because it seems this variant is just ripping and ramping through Gauteng at this stage. What do we know? of this variant. What exactly is the Delta variant of COVID-19? Okay, yeah, yeah. Good morning for for our all your viewers. Yeah. So so we know quite a lot about the Delta variant. Yeah. And we we are beginning to know quite a lot of the Delta variant in South Africa. Yeah. If I start with South Africa, just just some very simple statistics. Uh, in April it was around 1% of our, of our infections. That's the genomes that we sequence. In May, it grows to 11%. In June, our last data is putting at around 59% and growing. What it means, it means that it has entered the country and is keeping ramping up very, very fast and starting to dominate most of the infections. Mm. Uh, no, yeah, and 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 that comes from very random surveillance. We are talking about we have detected the Delta variant like in dozens and dozens and dozens of different areas in the country, and it's associated not only with the increase of the third wave in Gauteng, but also in the Eastern Cape, in KwaZulu Natal, and the Western Cape. Yeah. Uh, Prof, we talk about a variant that is not only, you know, ramping across South Africa, but around the world. I understand 85 countries around the world right now are grappling with the Delta variant, first detected in India. How did it get into South Africa? Do we know? So, so how did it get to South Africa? It, it, it's, it's quite difficult to know because, as you mentioned, it is in 85 countries. And to be honest, it's probably many more country is just because they have to also increase the genomic surveillance. And that's something that, that, that a lot of time people don't understand, is that uh, to the best of our knowledge, it wouldn't come direct from India, but normally would come from an intermediate country, which is almost impossible to know. What happened with this kind of variant, yeah, the Delta variant is at least uh, what we believe twice more transmissible. So it is entering most of the countries in the world. And at the moment, it's basically dominating the transmissions also in most of the countries in the world. So, so, so it's very difficult to know how it would come from and where it would come from. Right. What we also know is that the Delta variant is highly transmissible, um, very contagious. You did mention that it spreads at least twice as much as the beta variant or other strains that we understand. So how different are some of the symptoms of the Delta variant compared to other strains of COVID-19? Okay, so, 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 so the Delta variant, what it has as the other variants of COVID-19 has added multiple mutations. Yeah. More specific, yeah, in, and you will remember that in the beginning that was called the double mutant. Yeah, why double mutant? Because it had two mutations in the most important part of the virus. That is the region of the spike protein that binds to the human cells to enter. In addition to that, it has other mutations on, on some of the cell machinery of the virus that it make more infectious, yeah. To be specific, one of the mutations that the whole world is worrying, it's at a position called 681, and that's because it's exactly in the furin cleavage site, and that makes the virus more transmissible. Mm. Now, I mean, with that being said, I have to admit to you, Prof, and be honest, I watched the... Um president's address last night and when he mentioned that the delta variant is in, pro in five provinces in south africa um you know we seeing those infections rates coming up 66 percent of those infections in routing alone that put a lump on my throat my heart beat so fast um because i wondered personally as a south african resident going through a third wave in this country 
if South Africa will go through the same fate as we've seen in India. Um, I'm talking here about the thousands of people that have lost their lives. Uh, you know, hospitals grappling in terms of bed capacity, uh, loved ones doing all they can, but unfortunately not you know, having enough to do uh, for their loved ones to save their lives or even themselves. I suppose my question to you is, will South Africa face the same fate as we've seen in India through this Delta variant? So, 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 so the, the main answer to that question is that we don't know. And that was, was so important to try to protect all the provinces in the country. Yeah. Because at the moment, the infection is extremely high in Gauteng, but it's also growing quite a lot in Pazul Natal, in the Eastern Cape, in the Western Cape. And that's, that, that's why, unfortunately, we need, we, we, we need more restrictions. Yeah. Unfortunately, I am not a big supporter of restrictions because the less resource, but I think that we really need that to try to slow down the transmission and also to protect some of the hospitals. Yeah, because our healthcare workers now have to really focus on increasing bed capacity, increasing also oxygen supply. And, and, and if we work together, yeah, this means the public, the government, the health system, eh, we may be able to, 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 to what we call flatten the curve. Yeah, mm. and that's what we should should try all together at the moment, uh, and that will involve a lot of like trying to really reduce gatherings and and really try, especially in the next two weeks, to really try to slow the transmission of this virus, but also uh, increase uh, hospitalization capacity and also increase vaccination. Yeah, and with that being said, um, in terms of the lockdown. Um, you know, be, or the measures rather being a, a sort of intervention in terms of the vaccination, you know, roll-up program being an intervention as well as, of course, our healthcare system, also assisting patients and hospitals. My question to you is about vaccines. Prof, very bluntly and honestly, will the vaccines that we have right now in South Africa assist with this Delta variant or is this variant a lot more stronger and more aggressive than the vaccines that we have right now in South Africa. And if indeed this Delta variant is aggressive and perhaps the, you know, the, the vaccines that we have uh, may not be as effective in assisting in terms of the rollout, what then needs to be the next step? What vaccine should we consider? Uh, what's on the cards in terms of options here for government and the health sector? Okay, so, so, so to also answer your question very blunt, Yes, the vaccines that we have here are very effective against the Delta variant, potentially even more effective than the beta variant. The beta variant that was dominating the second wave and still a prevalence uh, across the country, which the Delta is taking over, this one is more aggressive against the vaccines. So the current vaccines that we have in South Africa will remain effective and even with the, the, the Pfizer, even with the first dose, what have shown, even if you haven't completed the two doses in other countries that are also gripping with the Delta variant, is that we really protect up to 89% on development of severe disease. So the answer, yes, our vaccines are effective. And what we have to do is to scale vaccination. And that may involve having a lot more vaccines on the basket because at the moment is a big competition internationally from, from vaccines. So the more vaccines that seem effective against the variants that we can have the country the best. Chris Director, Professor Tulio D. Oliveira, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate talking to you.